nearly empty sidewalks, little or no traffic on what is normally a busy Main Street. Popular gathering spots, but no gathering. Abandoned entryways. The virus has shut us down, but most say it's a necessity. We all need to try to stay as safe as, as we can. Hopefully, the government is, is telling us what we actually literally need. Open up the state. In recent days, we've seen the protest, people saying enough is enough, urging an easing of restrictions to boost the economy. I do understand the importance of uh, getting things going back again. Um, I think the natives are getting a little restless, understandably so. In several national polls, there's been an overwhelming majority of people feeling that we are doing the right thing, that even though it's causing economic hardship, that safety's number one. I think we have to be safe. We have to balance it. I don't think we can get back to work faster than it's safe. We are in no hurry. <laughs> we uh, definitely think it's smart to have a little bit of a wait and see approach. Our brief survey is not scientifically accurate by polling standards, but each person expressed sympathy and empathy for those struggling financially, but urged caution moving ahead. I don't see a rush to, you know, to jump the gun, so to speak. Um, to reopen everything, uh, maybe gradually, you know, try to test areas here, there. It's important for us to be um, um, safe, wise. Um, we, we need to. We need to protect ourselves. We need to protect others. Without your health, because actually health is wealth. In Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. No. <laughs>